What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Street Legal Racing Red Line. Let's build and today we'll be building a Drift ER34 Skyline. But before we get into that, like I've said in the past few previous Let's Build videos, uh, if you guys want to see any specific car, any requests, I'm open to them. The last video I had a bunch of requests, but today the reason I'm building an ER34 is because this is a two-part, or I guess a three-part, video series that I'll be making uh, and this is the second part. The first part was the Injection 1.4 download and install video and this is going to be the ER34 build video on Injection 1.4 1.5 so I'm going to be building a car on the newest injected and then we're going to be drifting it in a, in a drift video. So as you can see I've, I'm going to hit all three different categories of uh, videos that I make so you know you gotta milk that shit dude, I gotta milk that shit. I can't be uploading only goddamn uh, let's play so uh, yeah I'm gonna milk it so let's get into the let's get into deep and into the dirty. So here we go we have a stock ass ER34 normal with a GTR badge, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm mistaken, there is no GTR badge, this is just a normal skyline that is, uh, you know, here, with a, with a built RB, okay, the model on this RB is spectacular, oh my, that's very nice looking, I don't know, it just looks so nice for some reason, um, so, so here we go, this is going to be the car we'll be using. This is going to be the car that we'll be building this episode. So, let's get into the suspension. So, I think it's uh, it's fair to say that there's going to be no surprises in the suspension uh, area, so I've gone with very, very simple and very, very effective. What? Uh, not waste fab. V stands suspension, V stands coilovers, V stands springs, and some big boy brakes and things like that. So, yeah, no, sus no, no, nothing surprising here, because we need effectiveness. Not, uh, we're not, we're not trying to find the best setup. We're trying to find. A setup that works, and I think this is going to be work. What am I even talking about? I can't put a second pair of break this. Can I thought I thought you. I don't know. Whatever. Let's install these BRs. Oh yes. Right, so the car has a bit of a... What kind of fucking stance is this, bro? What, what happened with the stance? I don't understand here. I don't understand at all. This is some... This is, That is a funky stance. That is a funky stance. We're going to fix that a bit later because that's, uh, that's how I do things, apparently. So, let's go to the next part, which is engine. So, for the engine, it seems that... We already have a um, solid engine. What kind of power are we making? We're making 634 horses. It appears that the car uh, already came with a good engine. What kind of... Uh, we're only at 0 0.4 bar. A stage 1 block. It's HK. It's a stage 4 head. Yeah, this this got like a, a few different options. Let's go to like 0 0.95 bars. And what kind of... Uh, RPM remaking? Yeah, no. Let's get this a bit higher. Idle at 9.5? 9, 9 yeah, 9, 9, 950? Yeah. 9,000 horse, uh, 9,000 RPM? It's a bit high? It's not really, actually. What is this line? I don't understand. What it, yeah, I'm not gonna ask, but like, it appears that the, the power keeps climbing. The power just keeps climbing. It's not even lo losing. It's not even dying, huh? I guess it might be seven nine nine. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, pretty solid number. I I, I would say like I, I'm I'm happy with how that looks, except how the car looks. I'm not happy with that. Well, I guess the engine part is done. Uh maybe we, maybe we can paint it like red. No, isn't like the normal. 
Is it, isn't it like red, the normal one? Let's do something like ridiculous, like pink. Hell yeah. Pink bands as well. Nice. Oh, yes. Would you look at that? That looks nice. That looks like a ridiculous engine. Perfect. Well, yes, the engine part was very extremely fast and quick and easy. That was uh, unexpected. Very, very unexpected. But let's go to the next part, which is a bit more uh, tedious. So we have a few options for the, uh, for the look of the car. We can go with a GTR look, or we can go with the stock look. Well, it depends on how things look. So let's uh, let's start looking at these things. So yeah, that's a wide quarter panel compared to this one, I think. Yep. So this is a GTR, and this is a uh, tuning one. It appears that they have essentially the same wideness. By the looks of things, they are essentially the same wideness, but this one just kind of looks, has like things on it. So let's go with that one. This is like a Z-Tune hood. Not that you can see very much, like I can barely see, but it's like a Z-Tune hood and I pretty much like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think we've we found the winner. Oh my god, it's so mean. Holy shit. Honestly, this does not look like a time a, time, a, dr a drift a drag car. It's like uh, this does not look like a drift car. It can't, I'm getting a time attack vibes. Well, it appears that I shall be going wide fender on this car. Um, oh, that looks a bit funky as fuck. Oh, okay, so I, so this actually has a different chassis. It's not a add-on, it's a different whole chassis. Oh, that's not epic at all. Oh shit, man. To be fair, this looks a bit weird in any case. So we are have to go. We are have to go. We are going to have to go with these uh, custom wide fenders. Well, at least it's something. Right. So the car actually has. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Looks ridiculous right now. Looks very, very ridiculous right now. <laughs> but the car is coming in. That's bad. Why is the car still fucked? <laughs> Oh man, this video is gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of time lapses. It seems I think it depends on how much I cut out of the video, though. <laughs> it depends on how much I cut out of the video, but what the fuck? <laughs> That's a bit funny. That's a bit funny. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like this is a pretty cool with the carbon and everything, but like, what the fuck is that exhaust thing there? Why does why does it have a already set exhaust? I don't know where I would have I would have preferred a big big exhaust boy, but ah, it is what it is. Oh, this already has a trunk wing. Oh, I was hoping for something a bit bigger. So um, this is going to be actually the first. Wow, that's not a bad wing. That's not a bad wing. Like this is not a drift car though. Like fucking hell, this looks like a time attack car, through and through. This is an absolute. I can't remove it. Did the game crash? No. That's a rear windshield. What the fuck? Okay. Man, if we had like a proper lip spoiler though, like that's not a good lip spoiler. Also, like I've got, I've 
I've got stock SLRR wings, which I've not used the stock SLRR wing in so long. And they are actually very good. Like the stock SLRR wings, they're good. If they fit properly, like if they're on properly. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a legitimate wing. The game has legitimate wings, even though they appear to be... Oh, no. <laughs> you know, they appear to be installing very wrongly. Now, they're still legitimate. We look at this thing. Oh, it's a bit small, this one, but still, still, generally speaking. Hmm. Would it be possible to find a lip wing in the spoilers? Because, like, that's. I think a lip wing would very good look, look very good. Most wanted wing. We only have big wangs, man. We only have big wangs. <laughs> we only have the big boy wangs, okay? <laughs> where the fuck is the. Okay, I was like, where the fuck is the hood? the trunk oh god i don't know man i really think like this car really suits a non big wing but i don't feel like it's finished this way fuck it we're going to go max fd on this one like max not fd like max this is a show drift spec car like this is some adam lz shit it's just the question is which wing do i choose fuck it let's go with the the, the stock game one like that's good enough the stock one that came with the car so essentially the car is Pretty, pretty much built. So uh, a few things now left to be done, like fixing the absolutely fucked suspension. Cause I've got no idea what the fuck's happening there. <laughs> oh God. All right. <laughs> Shit. I'm um, not, not really the situation we want to be in. That is still very slammed. To be to be fair, like the front is also very slammed. <laughs> this car is so goddamn low, <laughs> especially on the rear end. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit better. That is a bit better in indeed. Damn, this car is like low key, high key. Looks pretty fucking lit. Lit. Yeah, we let's check out the interior for now. Alright, I mean, I think it's fair to say that this is like a proper... What the fuck did I just click? Oh my god. Whatever. Oh, it's fair to say this is like a proper drift car, man. Or... Okay, in any case, when you look at this car, you don't think drift car, you think like fucking time attack car. This is how my time attack GTR should look in the time attack series, which I've not done in fucking forever, but... That's irrelevant. <laughs> that's irrelevant. Let's make it, let's give it a nice paint job as well. A nice aggressive blue. That's a nice color. That is a nice looking car. Oh yeah. Well, it seems like this is it for today. Um, thank you for watching. It's a bit of a different kind of uh, let's build, but I mean it wasn't supposed to be, but it just kind of came, came out this way. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode and uh, expect in the coming day or two or three the drifting portion of this video. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one.